we're going to have it for one more day. It'll be around tomorrow. Then we'll start to trickle it back a little bit. But you're right. It was windy out there today. These are some of the sustained winds. These aren't the wind gusts. This is how fast the wind is actually sustained at blowing 25 miles per hour here in Des Moines. 15 for Fort Dodge. They've been gusty at times, up near 30 to 35 miles per hour, even 45 miles per hour. And for that reason, a wind advisory has been in effect for much of the day for, again, these wind gusts of 45 miles per hour. Now, this is only in effect until 7, and then it's out of here, and we'll have to see if they reissue another one tomorrow. The other story today has been a few very light rain showers that are pretty much off into eastern sections of the state right now. You can see on live Super Doppler HD pretty much out of the viewing area now. LaPorte City back towards Cedar Rapids now. And these uh, showers again are moving off to the south and to the east. So not much of a threat for us around here. Take a live look at our SchoolNet webcam off to the northwest in Jefferson. A beautiful afternoon. We've just seen a few cumulus clouds out there, but a lot of sunshine. But you'll notice that webcam blowing around out there because those winds are feisty. 57 right now here in the metro. The dew point is 20. Not a lot of moisture in the air right now. Winds again sustained at 25 here in the metro. The pressure 29.67. A little cooler off to the North Mason City, low 40s. Fort Dodge is in the mid 50s this hour, 54 down in Lamoni. So a few clouds around this afternoon, but we have been seeing a few pieces of sunshine out there, but you'll notice this potent area of low pressure over sections of the Great Lakes. We zoom in a little bit on that. This area of low pressure is pretty much just going to park itself up there over the next few days, wrapping around that northwesterly flow, and even a few chances for showers. We've seen those off into eastern Iowa. We might see a few more of those showers around later on tomorrow afternoon, but I think for the most part we'll see more sunshine tomorrow and maybe just those afternoon clouds and a few sprinkles. Temperatures right now a little cooler off to the north Minneapolis in the 40s. Green Bay as well, 57 here in the metro. The warm air off to the south around Dodge City where they've spent the day in the 60s. So here's future cash showing those ISO bars a little packed together out there. Uh, those are lines of equal pressure. When they get close, that's when we see the wind really howl out there. We'll see a trop of low pressure swing through tomorrow and that'll bring us a few more clouds around for the afternoon before high pressure moves in by Wednesday. Here's future cash from the statewide perspective. 10 o'clock tonight, a few clouds out there. But for the most part, we're going to clear the clouds out. We'll see just partly cloudy skies for tonight and then sunshine tomorrow morning but we'll build in a few more clouds by the afternoon you'll notice future cast at three bringing in some of those clouds but the big story tonight's going to be the cooler temperatures check these lows out Fort Dodge 33 34 in Ames here in Des Moines in central Iowa right around 35 degrees those clouds clearing out a little bit but it will be chilly tomorrow we'll start the day with sunshine we'll end the day with a few clouds afternoon highs a little bit on the cool side with that wind right around 60 degrees. Wednesday will cool down a little bit behind that weak cold front tomorrow, 57. Thursday, 59. Might climb back up near 60 by the end of the week on Friday. And then our next chance of rain looks to be Saturday early in the morning, but uh, not a bad weekend lined up next weekend. All right, thank you, Frank. Let's take a look at KCCI.